Hello, hello, hello everyone. How are you? This is uh, Moshe Pergamenico, your friendly insurance agent. And uh, today I am going to uh, give you a few tips on how to find money or save money uh, with an emphasis on uh, private health insurance. So uh, let's begin. I just want to say that uh, I got some very nice feedback uh, last time that I uh, did uh, these tips and you can look up my uh, uh, earlier post if you want I can post it in the comments and uh, uh, you can get some uh, good tips to how to find money or uh, save money uh, and I'm trying to do one every week uh, so uh, everyone can benefit from uh, this knowledge. So let's begin. Uh, so as you can see here in Hebrew, I'm going to change it to English. Uh, today we are talking, uh oh, a second. Oh, that does not work in English. I have a backup, my trusty Google Translate here. We're going to use this one. Voila. So we're going to talk about submitting a claim to the insurance company for health insurance benefits, which basically means money. So before we're going to dive into this, I just want to say that every action or thing you're going to take from this, you should seek advice from a licensed insurance agent, pref preferably a member of the uh, bar, uh, and uh, maybe the, has a few recommendations. So uh, I want to talk, what is exactly a private health insurance? So uh, let's see if it works. Yep. So we have a basic health insurance, which we pay for from our paycheck. We see it in the pay slip every month. It's usually around 4% of our income. And uh, that's how we get our Kupat uh, Cholim uh, card. That's how we can uh, go and get medical attention. Every, uh, uh, every resident of Israel is entitled for uh, health insurance if he pays uh, his uh, uh, monthly payments. Uh, the other thing we have is the additional, we call it Shaban, uh, IBS, I see it translated. Uh, and uh, the additional health insurance, the, it's still the public sector. Uh, this gives us uh, the ability to choose uh, other specialists uh, or doctors to consult with uh, um, dentists, uh, we can get dentists uh, or uh, dentist the uh, how do I say dentistry um, um, dentistry treatments and diet diet consulting all kinds of stuff usually eighty percent of people have the all of or most people have the basic one eighty percent have the additional one. But I'm not going to be talking about the private sector today. I'm talking about people who have health, private health insurance. This basically gives us uh, the ability to finance very expensive medicine or drugs uh, in case of a medical catastrophe. That means it could cost like uh, 100,000 shekels uh, every month to finance uh, uh, some kind of drug maybe to cure cancer, uh, or uh, if you need like a transplant, so uh, the insurance company can provide up to millions of shekels, all of course uh, according to the policy, but uh, those are the basic two ingredients that you really want in your health insurance. And the third one, we're talking about surgeries. 
So this is the one I'm going to be talking about today. The surgeries, which allows you to go and uh, 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 do the surgery in, a pri in the private sector without the wait time that you have in the, in the public sector, without, uh, with the ability to choose a better doctor if you want, uh, and this is what we get in surgeries, which you can do either in Israel or abroad, depends on your policy. I'm talking right now about uh, the private uh, health insurance uh, and the surgeries in Israel. So before we continue, I just want to say this is uh, from the bill of the insurance contract, and it says that the insurance uh, claim uh, in illness or accident uh, has, uh, how do you say it? I forgot. But let's go here to my trusty Google Translate. Um, how do you say it? Case and cause of everything, cause insured, the illness or accident. Stature of limitation. That's right. Stature of limitation is three years. Okay? So we're talking about things you didn't do or didn't claim for in the last three years. So uh, after knowing this, I just want to say that I opened here a, a calculator, which you can use for uh, calculating uh, if you're entitled to uh, an insurance claim or some money. Now, this is very, very important. I am talking right now only about surgery uh, policies with the surgery ingredient in them that uh, were started before December 2013. So this, before December 2013, that's the key to understand this. But what it means is that if you did a surgery, and I'm talking about like even like uh, minute things, like just uh, removing a mole or removing a, a beauty mark or or doing a colonoscopy. It doesn't have to be like a big thing, like a surgery. And I'm talking, you did this in the public sector. So everyone who has an insurance policy, a health insurance policy, with a surgery ingredient in Israel before uh, uh, December 2013, and it hasn't been uh, three years since the claim, since the, the event uh, of the surgery, can look up or uh, talk better, that's the best option, talk to his trusty insurance agent and ask him to see if he can get money because the insurance company gives you money for not activating the private insurance health and choosing the private sector. This could uh, be a thousand shekels, as you can see here, 765 uh, shekels for a colonoscopy. Colonoscopy, uh, and it also could reach uh, 10,000 shekels or maybe even 100,000 shekels if it's like a very uh, complicated surgery, like brain surgery or something like that. So I uh, recommend to check. And if we are already on the subject, let's talk about a little bit about. Um, what is the surgery and surgical procedures in Israel ingredient? You either have from the first shekel, which is more expensive, and that means you don't need the IBS one or the, uh, how, did the how was that translated? Um, uh, additional health services. So you don't need this one. You can just go to the insurance company and do the, the private surgery, or you can choose uh, this one, uh, surgery upgrade complementary IAF, 
coverage. This one translated like this one, like this. Coverage for surgical surgeries and treatments in Israel. That means you get, the, first you get the money from Kupat Cholim, from the public sector, and then the additional money to the 100% finance, finance of this, you get from the private sector. And uh, what do you know? This one is uh, cost less than this one. So what I'm suggesting to you, and again, you have to consult an insurance agent before you do this, is you can switch from this one to this one without filling a, a declaration of health. You can switch it in your uh, insurance company and lower your cost in around 20 to 30 percent. Now this could be 100 or 200 shekels for a family, maybe more, or maybe hundreds of shekels every month for people who are older than the age of 50. So you better check this, worth, worth checking. The last thing I want to talk to you about is the most uh, sought after or the most, uh, you have the most claims, the insurance companies have uh, the, the most claims, this ingredient here, just a second. Let's translate this. Yes, ambulatory medical services and advanced technology. So uh, this is ingredient has a lot of people have this. They have this ingredient in their insur in their private uh, health insurance, but they don't use it or they forget they have it. And what you get here, you get medical opinion, which means that you can you can go to a private sector doctor pay uh, 1,200 shekels, and if you have this ingredient in your insurance, this uh, article, you can uh, uh, get around 80%, usually 750 shekels for that uh, consultation. The first one, the second one you get less, maybe 500 around, something like that. But again, if you uh, did not claim in the last uh, three years, you better think back and see, maybe you're entitled to some money. Now, um, the other things you can get here are ADHD tests, um, uh, physiotherapy, and pregnancy tests. So this makes this article the most claimed uh, for uh, insurance, in Israel, and that's why I recommend to everyone either get this uh, article, or if you already have it, think back three years back and see, maybe you can get some money out of it. So that was the me uh, wishing you Chag Sameach again and Shabbat Shalom. I hope you enjoyed yourself and I hope you, this uh, information will be beneficial. And of course, like or share if you like this video. And uh, I also like the comments, so maybe you want me to talk about something else next time. So you can offer the top to write it in the comments. And uh, that's it. Goodbye, everyone. Uh, Moshe Pergamenikov, your insurance agent. Uh, bye.